In today's vlog, I'll be going to Shenzhen, China. Just made it to Shenzhen, about to go through visa control. Probably best I turn the camera off right now if I want to get into the country. The visa situation is pretty straightforward. They get you to take a picture of yourself, get a ticket number, sit down, about 10 to 15 minutes wait, and then you're good to go. But check to see what your passport's like. I don't know what different countries I've got a British passport, so I think it's all good. <sighs> Typically, people come to the shopping mall and buy fake bags. It's fake sunglasses. Fake watches. You can get stuff made. Fake shoes. Or electronic goods. Now, whenever you're coming to one of these shopping malls, make sure you come with a plan now I'm going to give you some of my tips when shopping in these sort of fake goods malls. Tip number one, ignore and explore. This tip's going to sound really rude and obnoxious, but salespeople will literally bombard you as soon as you get through the border. You're not even in the shopping mall yet. They're already trying to sell you their watches, their fake trainers, fake sunglasses. When I first came to the shopping mall in Shenzhen, I was very open to saying to people, no, I'm okay, thank you, I don't need that. Now I just walk straight past, I don't talk to anyone. It may sound rude, but it gets annoying. You literally get approached by 20 people plus if you're in here. Which leads me to my next tip. Plan, plan, plan. Have an idea of what you actually want to buy here. Make a little list and then you're not gonna waste time stopping to these people that wanna sell you stuff all day long. Today I'm looking for sunglasses, a watch, a handbag, and a basketball jersey. Tip number three, be aggressive but not obsessive. Now by aggressive, I mean with your negotiations. The salespeople are gonna give you a ridiculous price to start off with. I usually half it and then start from there. And by possessive, I mean don't get hung up on something that you may not have the price of because everywhere pretty much has the same thing around the whole mall. So you can just go other places. <laughs> You're on film. No, no, no. You're on YouTube. No, no. <laughs> I'm trying to give you live examples of me trying to get prices in shops, but every time I get my camera out, people are not happy. He likes it. He likes the vlog. Now, just be careful with this place. If you spend too long here, you end up buying dumb shit. I mean, I don't even need reading glasses. Kind of rating them, though. Okay, fourth and final tip. Get a massage. Massage. So cheap to get you. Oh, it's so cheap to get a foot massage, back and shoulder, pedicure, manicure. Enjoy yourself while you're here. Right guys, I'm just about done. I cannot take any more of this place. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you the haggling stuff, but people really didn't like me filming in their shops. But I am gonna show you what I got. Fake watch, fake basketball jersey. Another pair of reading glasses for someone who doesn't even need glasses. Two pairs of sunglasses and a fake Chanel bag. Notice the reoccurring theme of the word fake. Oh, I also got a new glass screen protector for my iPhone and a leather case. Old man's fixing it now. Hey! Thank you. This guy right here is just teaching me about some Chinese social media, huge in China, called Fast. Very nice. China really got everything going on. That social media site looks awesome. And that's just about me done. Until next time, Shenzhen. I'm gonna end the vlog a little differently this time. Say hello, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Say, day done, Alex out.
They don't at least. <laughs> yeah, and then and then hit hit the camera like this. This. In today's vlog, I'll be going to Shenzhen. Shen. Shenzhen. Shenzhen. In today's vlog, I'll be going to Shenzhen. In today's vlog, I'll be going to Shenzhen. I'm actually already in Shenzhen, but I forgot to film the start of the vlog in Hong Kong. If you've made it to the end, I'm probably going to put this at the end. 